Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to do a quick tip to you guys and, and gals uh, on how to run your generators in parallel operation. Uh, today is kind of my exercising my generators day. I typically try to get them out once a month. Might seem like a lot, but I actually think it's kind of fun to get out here and start them up and keep them maintained. But anyway, um, to run inverter generators in parallel essentially means that you're going to double the power that you have. So each one of these wind generators is 2000 surge watts. I can hook these things together and create 4,000 watts or a bigger generator. And the advantages to this is that you can, you have two generators instead of one. So if one goes down, you always have a backup. Instead of buying just one large generator with 4,000 watts, I decided to buy two generators, 2,000 watts each, but I can hook them up together to create 4,000 surge watch, watts. Um, all you're going to need is some type of um, parallel kit and whatever type of connection that you're going to need. This particular one has your TT30R uh, plug and a L530R twist lock. Um, models will vary. And the thing with these things are is that you can use this. This is a wind parallel kit, uh, but I don't have to use a wind kit for a wind generator. You can use any uh, parallel kit for any generator with the exception of I have a champion generator that's got some type of proprietary plugs they're square plugs 99 percent of your inverter generators are going to have rounded parallel ports my champion inverter generators got square so i have to if i was going to use my champion i would have to have a champion uh parallel kit but that's that's not not the norm but i'm going to bring you guys in closer and show you how to hook up your two generators and the order to start them and how to get things running in parallel mode. Okay, so I'm just going to show this to you without starting it because it'll be too loud to, to talk over it. But this particular kit comes in a box, okay? And you open up the back and it's got your parallel cords that you're going to use. So we'll keep that aside right now. And I exchanged, these generators came with just a standard nut, but I found it easier. I replaced them with wing nuts stainless steel wing nuts that way i don't have to keep a wrench on hand if i do need to run these in parallel you know while i'm camping and i don't have a wrench so i just i just got rid of the nut that it came with and i use these so the first thing you're going to want to do is take off these wing nuts and you're going to want to hook up your grounds with this ring terminal the yellow is the ground And this is why I like the wing nut so much more. It's just so much easier than having to fiddle with a wrench. Oh. Now both generators have to be off. Okay, so the ground's tight. Now all you do is you take your ports right here and you plug them in red to red black to black and same on the other side red to red black to black now I'm gonna take these down and start them up for you I don't want to start them in the back of the truck because it's gonna be so loud but once these things are running you're gonna want to start one get that up and running start another one get it up and running and then you're going to want to plug in whatever connection that you need for your particular parallel kick for mine, I'm, I'm just going to use your standard uh, twist lock and plug it in to this side of it. Now this is, let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to plug in my accessories to the end of this. But let me set you guys down and I'll start these and show you.
Okay, so now I got both generators running. Eco mode is turned off, and now I'm going to plug in a 1500 watt heater, and uh, you can see that it works perfectly. Okay, so there's the 1500 watt heater on high and I switched both generators to eco mode on so there's no uh, high draw coming from either generator since they're running in parallel and these things are now pulling 4000 surge watts or 3600 running watts. So that's the advantage of these uh, parallel kits if you've got inverted generators. So anyway guys, that was a quick tip. I hope that helped in setting up uh, if you wanted to run your generators in parallel if you had a couple of them. So uh, anyway guys, thanks. Take care.